Welcome to Math Magnet. Math made easy. This is for all you little geniuses who need a little help with math. Remember to use this video only as a guide to help you solve your math problems after you have attempted to solve them yourselves. Let's get into today's video. Let's look at chapter 4 percentage review questions. Let's look at the first question. David had $12 in his wallet. This was 20% of the amount that he received from his mother. Find the total amount of money that David received from his mother mother. So let's begin by drawing a bar model. Assume that this is the amount that David has received from his mother. So this will be your 100% and that 20% will be $12. Now you are asked to find how much he has received. What is the 100% of the amount? So to find that it is 20% is $12. So 100% will be 100 into 12 divided by 20 which is equal to $60. So David received $60 from his mother. Let's look at the next question. Question number two. Alina's home is 15 kilometers from Santosa. She cycles a distance of 8 kilometers. What percentage of the total distance does she have left to cover? To give your answer, correct to two decimal places. Let's look at the bar model. Here, this is the total distance that she has to travel from to her home from Santosa, which is 15 kilometers. So 100% is 15 kilometers and she has already cycled a distance of 8 kilometers. Now, what percentage of the total distance does she have left to cover? So, this remaining distance, how much will it be in percentage compared to 15 kilometers? So, let's see. So, distance left to cover will be 15 kilometers minus 8 kilometers, which is equal to 7 kilometers. So, now we know 15 kilometers is 100 percent. This entire 15 kilometers is 100 percent. And this stretch of 7 kilometers will be equal to 100 into 7 divided by 15, which is equal to 46.666% correcting it to uh, two decimal places it becomes 46.67% so the distance that she has left to cover is 46.67% let's look at the next question question number three last year 3300 people took part in an art competition this year the number of participants increased by 50% how many people took part in the art competition this year so we will look at the bar model. So we, here the base value will be the number of people who took part in the competition last year. So that will be 3300. So that will be your 100%. So over here in the bar model, this is your 100%. The last year's value which is 3300 will be your 100%. And this year they are saying there is a 50% increase. So this means this year the number of participants have become 150% compared to last year. So, since we are comparing with last year, last year becomes your 100%, this year becomes 150% and they are asking you to find the value of 150%. So, the number of participants this year is 100% plus 50% is 150%. So, 100% is 3300, 150% becomes 150 into 3300 divided by 100 which is equal to 4950. So, 4950 people took part in the art competition this year. Let's look at the next question. Question number 4. The midday temperature in Dubai on a particular day was 41 degrees Celsius. At midnight, the temperature decreased to 31.5 degrees Celsius. Find the percentage decrease in the temperature. Give your answer correct to one decimal place. Over here, the, we are comparing the temperature of a day on a particular day in Dubai. The day temperature was 41 degrees and midnight, the temperature has decreased to 31.5 degrees Celsius. So, we have asked to find the percentage decrease. So, let's see how do we go about the bar model. The midday value is uh, 41 degrees Celsius and since that is a base value that becomes 100%. At midnight it becomes 31.5 degrees Celsius which is reduced from 41 degrees Celsius and we are asked to find this percentage decrease. How much percentage has it reduced compared to 100%. To find that, let's find the difference in temperature between midnight and midday. So, it becomes 41 degrees Celsius minus 31.5 degrees Celsius which is equal to 9.5 degrees Celsius. Percentage decrease will be 9.5 degrees Celsius into 100%. So, that's equal to 9.5 into 100 divided by 41 because you are comparing it with 41. Or you can say 
so 41 degree celsius is 100 percent 9.5 degree celsius will be 9.5 into 100 divided by 41 this is equal to 23.17 percent which is equal to 23.2 percent because they've asked us to correct to one decimal place so this becomes 23.2 percent so the percentage decrease in temperature from mid midday to midnight was 23.2 percent question number five the usual price of a washing machine is 899 dollars ad pays 269.70 dollars less for the washing machine after receiving a discount Find the percentage discount AD receives. Here the usual price is given as $899 and AD is paying $269.7 less for the washing machine. So the discount he has received is $269.70. Not the discounted price. The discount is $269.70. So they are asking us to find the percentage discount. So let's begin with the bar model. Uh, usual price we know is 899 which is your base value so that will become your hundred percent the discounted price is so much we don't know how much it is but yes we can find out that we also know that he has paid two sixty nine point seven zero dollars less than the usual price so that becomes your discount that much less he has paid so now the question here is to find the percentage decrease not to find the discounted price so let's not waste time finding the discounted price here we are asked only to find the percentage decrease so to find that let's see how to go about discount is 269.70 so 899 we know is 100 percent 269.70 will be 269.70 into 100 divided by 899 which is equal to 30 percent so the dis percentage discount which ad has received is 30 percent discount question number six annie gained 7.2 kg from january to february this is an 18 percent increase in her mass what is annie's mass in february here they told that she has increased 7.2 kg in february compared to january so basically your january value will be your base value and they are saying this 7.2 kg is an 18 percentage so increase so which means they're given the percentage increase as 18 percent and they ask us to find how much is the mass in february so basically they're asked to find how much is 118 percent so let's begin by drawing the bar model now january will be your base value we don't know how much she weighed in january but we do know in february she has weighed 7.2 kgs more than january and that 7.2 kgs is 18 percent so which means in February, she is weighed 118% because she's weighed 18% more. They have given you the percentage increase as 18% and the value is 7.2 kg. So the total weight that of uh, Annie in February becomes 118%. So we let's see how much is 118%. We know the value of 18% is 7.2 kgs. So 118% will be 118 into 7.2 divided by 18 which is equal to 47.2 kgs so annie's mass in february was 47.2 kgs question number seven the usual price of a pair of sunglasses in store a was 114 dollars this was 95 percent of the usual price of an identical pair of sunglasses in store b both stores gave the same discount on the pair of sunglasses during a sale the pair of sunglasses cost $96 after discount in store B. So what was the usual price of a pair of sunglasses in store B? What was the percentage discount for the pair of sunglasses? So it becomes, let's look at the bar model. So store A has given us the usual price of sunglasses in store A is $114. So that becomes your 100%. And store B is it was this the, this value of 114 is only 95 percent of the cost usual price of the sunglass in store B, so that becomes 95 percent. And then they are also giving a both stores gave the same discount on the pair of sunglasses during a sale, and the pair of sunglasses cost 96 dollars after discount in store B. So let's begin by finding what is the usual price of the sunglass in store B. So we know 95% of the sunglass in store B is 114. We need to find how much is 100%. So 95% of store B is 114 dollars. 
100 percent will be 114 into 100 divided by 95 which is equal to 120 dollars so the usual price of the sunglass at Stobi was 120 dollars now what was the percentage discount for the pair of sunglasses now we know the usual price of these uh, sunglasses at store was 120 and they are saying that after discount the pair of sunglasses cost 96 dollars after discount in store B. so we need to find how much was the discount price so discount at store B was 120 minus 96 dollars is equal to 24 dollars so that is your discount now for 120 dollars we know it is 100 percent that is the usual price so for 24 dollars will be 24 into 100 divided by 120 which is equal to 20 percent so which means both the stores gave a discount of 20 percent let's look at the last question question number eight jamie's monthly rental for her apartment was thousand six hundred dollars patrick's monthly rental was nine by ten of jamie's monthly rental patrick's landlord increased his monthly rental by 25 percent find the increase in Patrick's monthly rental. So let's begin by drawing the bar model. We know Patrick's monthly rental was 9 by 10 of Jamie's monthly rental. And we know Jamie's monthly rental is 1600. So basically Jamie will have 10 units whereas Patrick will have 9 units because of the ratio that fraction that they are given here is 9 by 10. So the Patrick is 9 and Jamie is 10. Now 10 units is 1600. We need to find how much is the Patrick's monthly rental. So that will be 9 by 10 into 1600 which is equal to 1440 dollars. So Patrick's monthly rental is 1440. Now that Patrick's landlord has increased his monthly rental by 25 percent. Now we know 100 percent is 1440. 125 percent will be they've asked us to find only the increase in patrick's monthly rental they haven't asked us to find what is his new monthly rental where they haven't asked us to find what is 125 percent they've rather asked us to only find the increase by how much his monthly rent has increased so we just need to find for 25 percent how much will it be so 25 percent will be 25 into 1440 divided by 100 which is equal to 360 dollars so here he has to pay uh, an additional $360 of monthly rent. Now let's solve some put on a thinking cap questions. Let's look at the first question. Mr. Omar bought a laptop at a discount. If he sold the laptop at its usual price, he would receive $550 more than the amount he paid. If he sold it at 80% of its usual price, he would receive $350 less than the amount he paid. How much did Omar pay for the laptop? Now this is the question that how much did Omar pay for the laptop? Basically he has, he has bought the laptop for a certain amount of discount. And we know that if he sells the laptop for its usual price, he will get $550 more than the amount he has paid. So basically the amount of discount is, will be equal to $550, correct? Let's understand it better with the bar help of bar model. So over here we will see the usual price is 100%. Okay, This will be your 100%. Now let's assume this is your discounted person. Now if Omar sold the laptop for his usual price, then he will get it. He will get $550 more than what he spent. So basically he has received a discount of $550 from the usual price. So he has paid $550 less than the usual price to buy this laptop. So that will be your discounted price. So, so much we have understood from these two statements. Next statement says, if he sold it at 80% at of its usual price, he would receive $350 less than the amount he paid. Now, if he sold at 80% of the usual price okay so now if he sold at this price he will get 350 less than what he paid so it's basically he is going to be selling the laptop lesser to a lesser cost than what he paid so that means over here if he sold this is your 80 percent of your usual value that's your selling price if he sold it at 80 percent of the usual price this will be a selling price and so if this is 80 percent this portion and this portion will be your 20% correct that is 100 minus 80% that is this this entire 20% will be equal to 350 plus 
550 understood because if he sold at an 80 percent he will be getting less of 350 rupees he will not he will be selling at a loss basically over here if he sold at an 80 percent of usual price so this 350 plus 550 will be equal to your 20 percent so 100 minus 80 percent will be your 20 percent and now 20 percent will be equal to 550 plus 350 which will be equal to 900 dollars now 20 percent is 900 dollars 100 percent which is the usual price will be 100 into 900 divided by 20 which is equal to 4500 now 4500 is the usual price of the laptop now the question is how much did omar pay for the laptop we know we already know he has paid 550 less than the usual price so the usual uh, discounted price will be 4500 minus 550 that is 3950 dollars so omar has paid 3950 dollars for the laptop let's look at the next question mrs wong sold some cakes to shop a b and c shop a bought 20 percent of the cake shop b bought four times as many cakes as shop c shop b bought 88 more cakes than shop a how many cakes did mrs wong sell all together now here we see that mrs wong has baked some cakes and she has sold them to shops three shops a b and c and now uh, out of this 100 percent of the cakes that she has baked shop a has bought 20 percent and the remaining has been bought by shop b and c okay now let's start with the bar model and see how we'll proceed so over here shop a has bought 20 percent and the remaining has been bought by shop b and c now how the shop b and c's relation is shop b has bought four times as much as what shop c has bought so shop c has bought one unit shop b has bought four units okay and now shop b has bought 88 more cakes than shop a so over here the unit relation is only between b and c you cannot compare the units between a and b because they haven't given any unit relation between a and b but we only know that shop b has bought 88 more cakes than shop a so let's begin now we know shop a is 20 percent which means shop b and c together has bought 100 minus 20 which is 80 percent now five units that is shop b is four units and shop c is one unit so five units will be equal to 80 percent correct if this is 20 percent then the remaining five units is 80 percent so one unit will be equal to 16 percent so one unit means shop c has bought 16 percent of the cakes and shop b has bought four units which means four into 16 which is equal to 64 percent so shop a has bought 20 percent shop b has bought 64 percent and shop c has bought 16 percent now we, we also know shop b has bought 88 more cakes than shop a so which means 64 minus 20 percent the difference in percentage between the two shops is 44 percent now 44 percent is 88 cakes how much is 100 percent that is how much is 100 percent is the total number of cakes uh, mrs wong has baked all together so that becomes 100 percent will be 100 into 88 divided by 44 which is equal to 200 cakes so mrs wong baked or sold 200 cakes altogether. Thank you, friends. Hope you found this video helpful. If yes, please do like, share with your friends, and subscribe for more such useful videos. Feel free to comment your doubts down below, and I shall get back to you at the earliest. See you soon with another math video. Bye.